What's going on guys? Welcome back to part 19. In the next couple of videos, I want to talk about adding songs from iTunes, adding royalty free music. So if we want to make a YouTube video and get paid and I want to talk about adding some sound effects, but in this video, I want to talk about detaching the audio from our video clips. So in the last few videos, what we did is we pulled in our video clips to our timeline right here. But as you can see right here, it's got those little, you see the graph down there. That's our audio. What I want to do is get rid of all of those. So there's a couple of ways about going about it. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it because my speaker microphones aren't next to the microphone I'm talking into. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but I want to get rid of that. Um, so there's a couple ways about going about it. What I can do is I can click on a clip. I've got three. You might just have one big one. We know how to cut up clips. We know how to use the blade tool. Uh, you might want to go back a couple videos for that. If you're interested in chopping up clips, if you're caught up with the series, then we're ready to rock and roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click right click and I'm going to detach the audio. There's the keyboard shortcut for it right there. What I'm going to do is it's going to drop the audio down here. Now it's still going to play it just like that. But if I'm going to get rid of it, I would just click on, uh, the green clip right here. Green is audio and I'm going to hit delete just like that. Now there's going to be no audio for that clip and that's what I want. So just, and it picks up again right there. It's going to pick up at the start of this clip. There's a couple ways about going about it. You can go up here to the right of your preview and you see the audio right here. Let's click on that. Let's make sure we're highlighted on a clip. And what you can do is you can go ahead and decrease the volume just like that. I believe zero. Yeah, just like that. So what you're going to do is you, if you just want to have this light volume, go ahead and toy around with it just like that. If you want to give it that distorted blown out sound. I don't know why you would do that. You can go up just like that and that's it. And you can also just kill the sound by moving this graph all the way to the left. So hopefully this video made sense. That's how you detach the audio from a clip in Final Cut Pro. I'll do it really fast right here. I'm just gonna go uh, detach audio and then I'm gonna click on the green bar right here and hit delete. So good luck with that guys. Next video, we're gonna talk about adding iTunes into our Final Cut Pro projects. We're gonna talk about adding royalty free music and we're also gonna get into adding sound effects. Good luck with this guys. I'll see you in the next video.